What's going on, people? T Money here. We are back. Well, it's been a crazy, crazy, crazy week. And, you know, things are happening back to back, back to back. But today we're going to be talking about the summers. Let me tell you, honestly, I did not think that the summers still exist. You know, the COVID-19 2020 thing just started hitting and this everything just kind of went on pause. And we we're like, what happened to the summers? I don't know. What is the future of summers right now? Honestly, when looking at the summers that we had yesterday, let me tell you, I don't see the future. I don't see. I mean, they need the whole revamp. I mean, in my opinion, I feel like they need the whole revamp. And um, I don't know. I'm not a hater or anything like that. But I think they can do better. The summer is actually sponsored by the, by the government, by the Ministry of Tourism, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and honestly, I feel like they can do much better. When I'm thinking... Right now, it looks like they were sponsored by Motepe Foundation, of course. And I think the government still had something to do with it. Um, I might be wrong, but let me tell you. If this is something that we, if this is what we want to do, you know what I mean? Because I feel like, you know, it's a lot of fumble a mumble that's going on and sometimes it's just not worth it you know it's okay to and i'm proud of the girls and the boys that came on stage and flat out spoke in their own language venda spoke zulu spoke whatever i was like oh my god this is refreshing you know it's kind of tiring to always hear uh, to always hear this uh, western language english it's just annoying it's annoying, I'm not going to lie, especially when it comes to the events like this. These are not like a worldwide event. This is like a, a local event. It's South African Music Awards. Can we just be proud of our languages and, and, and start being proud of who we are and then start representing? If you're going to like, you know, within our country, you know what I mean? But I'm not going to waste time. Let's just go ahead and get into, um, <laughs> let's get into this um First of all, I don't know if I want to get into the looks, to be honest. I don't know if I want to get into the looks because, honestly, I feel like it was a lot. It was a lot going on. Um, what do I say? How do I feel about the host? You know, you know I, I feel like everything that they were doing right now, they were bringing people in Paris, and I did not see them bringing, you know, like one person coming out and you know presenting the award it was always executive of this and this plus this everyone was just like plus one plus one i'm like okay so i don't understand they can i definitely <laughs> sorry about that definitely one person could have presented the award it was so unnecessary to see two people presenting the award but it was i don't know it was fun it's something that was played out but uh Let's talk about, um, oh, let's actually just talk about your host, uh, Uno Malanga Shozi. Okay. <clears throat> should I put on the pictures? Should I, should I drop the pictures? Should I drop, should I drop the pictures or not? You know, they've been, you know, they've been, um, They've been um, striking and striking these days. <laughs> Even when you use a freaking picture, a simple, simple picture, they don't play. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm afraid. Should I do it? I'm afraid. Okay. So I'm just going to show it for a second. But you guys already saw what happened. You already saw, right? You already uh, um, you watched, this is the review, you know that in here we do reviews, uh, you already watched, okay, let's just do this for a minute, there you go, <laughs> what do you think about that, okay, let, let, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's that on that, okay, so let's talk about Nomalanga. Nomalanga, what she was wearing, I don't know what in the freaking world was going on. I see those flowers hanging off your shoulders like a freaking, 
I don't know. They were they got hit by a hurricane or what? I don't know. The the the, the flower shoulder corset dress that was giving like a, a, a SpongeBob square pants or SpongeBob square hips. Did y'all see like a, a the, the dress towards the corner the the, the hips? It was <laughs> it was it was giving more like a SpongeBob, but <clears throat> it's fashion at the end of the day. That I don't know who dressed her, but. You know, it, it, it was good. It was good. But let me let me actually not talk about hair a lot because I am not into that a lot, uh, into that kind of fashion a lot. Let's just get to the guys. Let's see what your DJ Sabi had. Let me tell you. What's, what's her name? Sabi? Let me tell you guys. I don't know what in the motherfucking concussion was going on in here. I don't know what was going on there. I don't know. Did, did you guys see that? I don't know. What in the world was that? Do you guys see them patches? I don't know. Most into na na. Eka ri eru ku eki maru saying waku kona store kapo waku kai like who did this? This is a, this is such an embarrassment. Like I'm not gonna lie. This is an embarrassment. I don't know. <laughs> your, your stylist. Your stylist, and if you if if you know what I'm talking about, let me just do this because I want to show you guys what I'm talking about because I feel like they did not do him justice. And don't get me wrong, English perfect, perfect, no mumbling, none of that. You know, very eloquent, very very. And I'm not gonna lie, both of them they were, they were like they were killing it. Okay, they were killing it, but. Let's look at the um no. Let's look at this because this is what I wanted to, to show you guys because that's why that's what I did not understand. No. That's what I did not understand. Okay, I'm not a hater. But keen tweet. Let's just say, you know, like that thing, Ekotasi. Live on Tweaky One Guy. I'm talking about this part down here. If you know what I mean. What is this? That. That drops all the way down, and the other one is like an even, it goes all the way up. I don't know who told him that. That was fashion, in my opinion. I'm not, I'm not a fashionista. Or I, I don't, I'm not that kind of person. I don't, I, I'm not into fashion like that. But I know fashion when I see it. That's a mess. That's a whole mess right there. You feel me? That's a whole freaking mess. But why am I saying this Simon's were joke? You know, first of all, they were hosted in Pretoria. Pretoria is one of my favorite cities in South Africa. Like, I'm not going to lie. This is my favorite city, and I've lived in Pretoria for many years. And, you know, I went to TUT. This is like, I, I love Pretoria. But let's talk about um, let's talk about um, okay, the reason why I'm saying this it was a joke is I don't know how the planning came about, because 90%, let me just say 95% of the nominees and the winners were not in the building. 95%. This is just a party for us. Pretty much, it was just the party for people who came to celebrate. Like, I mean, what was it giving? Like, are you serious right now? My Parisa was not there. Um, Makazi, like, let me tell you, Makazi was actually nominated for the traditional album of the year. And she did not even come to stage to get the award. Why? She was late. She was late for the award. Because all of a sudden, Makalsi just comes out of nowhere and performs. And she closed the show. I'm like, whoa, I know you're freaking lying right now. I'm like, I know you're freaking lying right now. You mean to tell me that this lady did not come on stage to collect the most prestigious award in South Africa? 
but she decided to come and close the show. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. You know, people people did not show up. I'm like, why didn't Kreta Kreta Kreta? Go and check out there. Ever spend down Mutipe? Like, I think this will be the last time Mutipe Foundation is sponsored even to the garden. You know what I mean? Because you know we have that inspiration. You know we want to see people come on stage and perform. We want to see people. You know what I mean? Like there was no even performance. I mean, I mean seriously, no one came and performed. Like one or two artists performed. I'm like, what's going on? I mean, <laughs> that was crazy. That was insane. That's that's crazy, that is crazy, and they had um they had a guy, what's his name? They had a Blakey. I'm like, I'm not a fan of that music. I'm sorry, Blakey. I am not the fan of uh us Africans singing like that. You know what I mean? I am not a fan of that kind of hip hop. You know, if it's sang, if 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 it's if if Morepa wa dengi motwa kum zanzi kapo if kimotwa. Non-American or non-British, I am not listening to it. I am not because what? What's an influence? Like, I mean, come on, what's an influence? I mean, the stolen flow, the stolen concept, the stolen. Uh, 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 I mean, pretty much the stolen everything. Well, Americanized, Americanized. I would listen to piano any day. Not that Blackie, mm mm, that was a no for me. That was definitely a no for me. A w- what a waste of time and what a waste of the resources. Okay, guys, let's get into the let's get in, let's get into these categories and see. I'm not gonna share pictures with you because you already know. I already said, you know, my channel is actually at the brink. The brink. I've already got so many warnings, even though, and um, mm, I don't wanna. I don't wanna keep sharing pictures of anything right now. So we're just gonna lay low and um and um and see. But the most categories that I was actually looking to, looking forward to, was the record of the year, the music video of the year, the uh, male artist of the year, and the female artist of the year. Okay, those are the main categories that I was actually looking. And the album of the year. Okay, those were the categories that I was actually looking forward to. And of course, maybe the collab of the year as well. But let's actually just start with the collab of the year. With the collab of the year, they had. Uh, I mean, Seto was pretty much uh, KO featuring Yanstan and Blakey. They were pretty much lab- uh, uh, nominated in almost, uh, almost, um, a, almost a, every category. You know what I mean? Almost every category they were uh, nominated. But um, the best collab of the year, of course, it did went to them. K, K.O., Yanstana, and Blackie. Right? So, which, uh, the people that were on that category, we had... Um, it was set to K.O. featuring Yanstana and Blackie. The uh, Lemons, or Lemonade, a.k.a. featuring Nasty C. Uh, Bastrata, Mapolisa... Vixa featuring uh, Two Shot, and that and you 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 already know who's in there. And Mohican San, uh, featuring Oscar Mbo, featuring uh, Murumba Peach, and then AKA featuring Kidominant Company, and of course um, Young Stana took that with KO. All right, I don't know about that. But let's talk about the male artist of the year. The male artist of the year, who were the nominees in this category? By the Caps of the Small, of which I really deserve. I really thought. No, no, never mind. Male artist of the year. Who won that? Give me one second.
I have to go back. I have to go back and look this because because I can't remember if it was uh, AKA who won that or if it was um, or if it was um, Gabsa the Small. But I will tell you right now because I'm finna go to the least. Okay, male ashes of the year. It went to um, AKA with the Mass Country. I felt like that album was also nominated in most of the category. But let's just go to um, the album of the year. <laughs> the album of the year. Okay, hold on. Let me close that. Okay. The album of the year of which this is, you know, I felt like they deserve it. And I felt like, you know, I wanted them to, to win this. You know, they've been taking the industry with the storm. You know, new group. And technically, they've been in the music for, uh, for quite a long time. But, Ntokoso, uh, Mbambo, Lavish, lavish worship that's more like a it's it's more like a gospel type of type of uh music ish you know what i mean and they were all they were nominated with mass country aka of course ko sr3 java um isbugu and then koa uh koa3 part one cubs are the small of which i thought that was gonna win as well but surprisingly the people have voted that that went to ntoko zombambo and she deserved it she deserved all of that you know what i mean um and the other categories i mean they still work so hard but i don't know y'all feel like ko is is not ko but aka is overrated you know especially i don't know like i feel like you know they start honoring you once you are gone it's like come on just keep it a buck you know what i mean like just keep it keep the same energy that we 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 heard mm, i don't know i'm not gonna go there people because you know i'm gonna be portrayed as a as a hater when it comes to this and i really don't want to go there but um uh, the album of the year, those were the categories that I actually I was actually looking uh, forward to. The newcomer of the year, of course, I don't know. It was um, 2.0 inquiry. And then the best I'm a piano album. Of course, that went to Gabs at a small KOA part two. No, KOA two part one. That deserved all of it. That deserved all of it. You know, I don't know. All this music is being pushed by TikTok. I'm not going to lie. Everything is just pushed by TikTok. The numbers, the streams and everything is like, oh my God, I am sick and tired of hearing this TikTok music. Can we just get into like important things? Can we just get into the music and get into, you know, and have fun and get into uh, into this instead of like, oh my God, mm -t -mm -t -mm -t -mm -t I'm sick and tired of hearing that. Let's just get into this. Let's, if we get into the piano, let's just get into it. Okay. The agenda that that is being pushed by these record labels through these media streams, it's insane. It's insane. All right. So, uh, well, let's get to the, the good part. The best hip-hop album of the year. Of course, I think we already talked about that. This is Religion by uh, Mesh Beats. Of course, Mass Country was also... Uh, nominated uh, there, Ga K A A K A. Okay, and then um, of course, Makati did took the best version of the album of the year, though she was late. She was late. She did not come on stage to collect it, um, <laughs> to collect the thing, to collect the uh, the freaking uh, um, award. Maybe Motari don't want to celebrate that. That's why I don't like going to the stage because who knows what's going to happen. That's why Motari. Now I give out to them. Can't tell me what's going to happen. Like no, I'm kidding. She she speaks she speaks English, and yeah, she does. She does. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna go into those contemporary albums. 
let's get into um we we almost gonna wrap this up because if we can get into this uh long thing here it's just gonna be uh it's gonna be too much but um okay so let's get into the music video of the year the music video of the year listen y'all honestly i did not think this was going to be music video of the year i felt like the music video of the year uh i don't know my feelings were a little bit mixed when it comes to to this but i'm happy i'm happy that this stana and uh two point one stimula they won this they won this i'm i'm like okay this is this is kind of insane this is kind of insane i'm not gonna lie the song took the freaking internet by the storm um for the past i, I would say for almost a year now you know trending people playing it on the background everywhere and you know people making the challenges out of it it was it, it was it was kind of refreshing to hear that kind of music from that and of course nadistana um i'm wholeheartedly supporting i mean his career Kim, you know i'm kind of excited you know a lot of people will start claiming him you know he's from the sotu mara hey let's just keep it back let's just keep it back he's from the sotu okay um even though even though most of patwa so to motwating hakala aba like you know what i mean akala aba somewhere up there but i'm not saying that he is where he is because of basotu or anything like that i feel like south africans had pushed him way too much and i'm not even going to lie as a content creator myself i feel like you know we get more support from people from other countries than people from our own country you know what i mean um this is good this is good they I, you know go with whatever you want to go with under this stana i mean you deserve this with your 2.1 people stimela you guys killed it this year and um you they they won actually two awards on the summers right the music video of the year and then they also won um record of the year as well music video of the year and multiple foundation record of the year you know that 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 was big that was big you know record of the year album of the year music video of the year right there that's big that's huge you know what i mean that was that was huge um i was i'm, I'm i was i'm you know i was excited to see to see the band of course they were not there they were not there like i said this was a whole freaking joke wasting people's money wasting people's time to show up at the uh, uh sunbed arena for no goddamn reason literally for no doggone reason people showed up and paid a lot of money to buy these tickets to get into this and y'all are not even showing up y'all are being honored y'all are being you know you know presented with this awards these are very prestigious awards and y'all not even showing up the fuck what are we doing where is the, the industry the uh, uh the music industry going to like a guy with a wrong i mean i don't know people i don't know i have i i you know this is a very good concept you know i'm just i'm just kind of excited that they are pushing it even though i did not think it was going to happen this year this summers um i think the last summers that we've seen nady look or debbie if i'm not mistaken but you know i thought that the summers were not going to happen you know but i'm so thankful that multiple foundation had you know sponsored this whole freaking event and then they made it work and i don't know what's the future i'm not going to lie um but i feel like most of the artists are taking it very lightly they are not you know the honor of you know uh being um the recipient of these awards just doesn't mean anything to them 
you know, it's just like people right now are going for creamies. People are like, you know what I mean? They just like, if he ain't creamy, he ain't nothing. You know what I mean? I'm not showing up if he's not a creamy. <laughs> like, I mean, I don't know. All right, people, uh, we're gonna we're gonna end it right here. Just make sure you hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the share. You know, keep that same energy. I will see you with another video next time. Peace out.